Today I will show you how to draw bamboo in traditional Chinese ink painting. It will finish as a little card or you can use as a bookmark or home decoration as well. Hi everyone, my name is Ning Ling. Welcome back to my video. From ancient Chinese culture, we press the four plants, the plume, blossom, orchid, bamboo, and chrysanthemum as four gentlemen. Chinese ancestors emphasized those plants' features to represent a good quality of human beings, such as strength of personality, moral sentiment through the four gentlemen. People use them to symbolize a certain type of character, like the pursuit of idealism in their life. In ancient China, metaphors were commonly used in communication among the royal family and well-educated people. For example, dragon means to king, phoenix means to queen. So during the time no one was allowed to use those patterns, it would get you in trouble if you dare to try it. So today, the bamboo that I'm showing represents a gentleman of noble personality. If you ever watched Anne's Cochin Tiger Hidden Dragon, there's a scene the fighting in the bamboo forest. The bamboo scene is a gorgeous metaphor to set off the characters in movie. About 1000 years ago, in Song Dynasty, there is a point and very famous artist, Su Shi. Now we call now many people call him Su Dongpo as well. And he loves bamboo so much. He wrote a lot of poems and paintings, the Chinese paintings about the bamboos. So here is uh, one of his really famous poems. It says, We may not have meat in our mail, but we can't live without bamboo. No meat may make us thinner, but without bamboo it will make us vulgar. We may put on weight easily through other methods, but we can't be cured if we have poor taste at spiritual value. Bamboo is also a practical plant in Asia. It can be made as musical instrument, the chopstick, the brush, the what we're using to painting here is bamboo and the rafts, ancient books, uh, furniture or building materials it is eco-friendly and economical or it can be used as a utensil to cook bamboo tube rice or the leaves can be used to wrap rice dumplings also, bamboo shoots are a common ingredient in lots of Asian dishes. Bamboo plays an important role in Asian culture. So, after so many stories about bamboo, I hope you are ready to start the painting with me. Firstly, we need to turn the ink into different shade. You can use the flower plate or the round plate for several. Now we add the water to the round plate. I would like to have some thick ink for painting, so I use the ink stick to thicken the ink. And now I'm going to tune some lighter color. Let's apply the light ink to the bottom of the brush and the thick ink in the tip of the brush. With this brush, we can make one stroke with the shade of lightness and darkness in one go. Let's do two more practice. 
If you have watched my last video, I was teaching the method of drawing straight lines, so you can probably know how to draw the body of the bamboo. After we dip the brush, we firstly press the brush down. Yes, and draw it up and finally press it and turn it back. And then leave some space for the bamboo joint and then draw the next part. And next, let's draw the bamboo node. Dip in the darkness ink and draw with the front of the brush. Press down and hook it up. And same as the other side, press down and hook it back. Some of my students, when they first time to do the bamboo painting, they will put the leaf just next to the body, like it looked like the leaves was grow out from the bamboo's body. So let's take a look how it looked like in the real bamboo. The bamboo also has branches, so we have to draw some bamboo branches first. The branches are very thin and grow one by one. You can see the branches grow out from the node. And let's pay attention to draw each branches in different directions. That will make them look more natural. Now let's move to bamboo leaves. Generally, bamboo leaves grow as a group. Three or four leaves can be in a group as an example. And for each leaf, we do like this. We gently press it down and hold it up. Now we try to put three or four leaves together, become a group. And each leaf will go for different direction and different heights. Then they may can interact or overlap to become a group of leaves. We can also take a look from the picture, the real one, but still we can make some different for our painting. Now I'm going to draw one bamboo painting is the bamboo in the wind. So let's practice some more of the leaves. So if it's a rainy day, the leaves will fall down. So you look like this. And you may also draw a group of the leaves for that. And here is some more trying. Let's see how it look like if we don't go for the traditional way.
So here is just some practice. Now we go back to the first painting. We put the darkest color for the main bamboo, not only the not only for the body, also the branches and the leaves. And the lighter color for the leaves behind. Let's do the postcard now. And because it's really tiny, so if you want to do some more bamboos you have to control your brush well otherwise I think just one big bamboo would be good too for me there's no rules when you want to draw a few bamboos together it is also good just remember to pay some attention to the balance and composition in your painting. Also pay attention to the difference between the leading role and the supporting role in your picture. The leading role usually the color will be stronger so for the ink will be thicker and darker. Rest of the place, you can just leave it blank or you can write something on it. And if you like, we can also use watercolor to do it. I always like the color blue and purple. So I will do a bamboo with blue and purple. Maybe I will add some pink together. This is the bamboo painting I'm showing you today. I suggest you can start with the one bamboo first, and then we can try two bamboo together, find the balance, and then we try several bamboo in one painting. Just remember the lead bamboo, the first one, the lead bamboo, the color will be the dark darkest one, or you can put the color will be the stronger one, and the other will be lighter, then you can tell the difference, and that make your painting more balanced and you can see well hope you enjoyed the video today 
Uh, next time we will do Orchid, also one of the four gentlemen. Welcome to practice with me and send it to my Instagram. I would really love to see them. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget if you like the video, subscribe, share it to your friends, leave the comment below, press a like. Hope to see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.